Oh yeah, we're live once again. Welcome to the live stream, everyone. Play more outward today. Let's get the the game going here. Hello, Coca Cola, Ghost, RDM, uh, Ghost. Thank you so much for the resub for thirteen months. It says you're building a powered minecart rail to the nearest village in your home, but since the village keeps getting attacked, all the villagers keep turning into zombies. Do you preemptively get rid of the town and mining for resources? Uh, if you want to save the village, really the best thing to do, put torches everywhere, put a fence around it, but like ultimately the only way to really make sure your villagers never die is to just stick them in a two by one area so nothing can touch them. That's my suggestion for you. RDM resub for seven months with a tier two sub. RDM, welcome back. Thank you so much for the seven months. Uh, you sure you clicked the button the first time? All right. You sure you just click that first time button? There you go. Uh, Coca-Cola just reset for 17 months. Coca-Cola, welcome back. Thank you for the 17. Uh, hello, Silent Crimes and Fault Bat. <laughs> Best way to handle villagers is a tight grip of TNT. I mean, that works too. I mean, you can definitely handle them with TNT. He's not wrong. All right. <clears throat> I don't remember where we left off. Uh, oh yeah, we got ourselves that crazy good axe. That's right, we killed off... Man, Friday... I was talking about since the start of the stream, we were supposed to have like this huge weather thing come through, and then, like, as it came through, I didn't really notice it, but it was raining. But I noticed that my power was flickering, like I could see my uh, box lights flicker. There's one in each corner here. Uh, the box lights flicker. I was like, that's not good. And then about two and a half hours or three hours into the stream, yeah, the power went out and it was out for like a good half an hour. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot that my mixer was not plugged into my battery backups. So like my computer stayed on, my internet stayed on, I was still streaming. You couldn't see me, it was dark, but you couldn't, uh, you couldn't hear me. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, that's a problem. So... I have since uh, plugged the mixer into the battery backup. So if that ever happens again, at least I'll be able to say, hey, we got a problem here. And uh, yeah, you'll know what's going on. Oh yeah, that's right. We, or I had to pause here because this is where stuff happened. Now these things are aggro me. How are we doing? I think we're fine. All right, so let's see if we can kill these guys. I don't have my backpack on, no idea where it is. Oh, oh, okay. These things are going to wreck me. They keep interrupting my attacks. I need to kind of separate them if I can. There we go. That's a good attack on that one. Okay, which one? You want some? Okay, I got knocked down. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. Uh, well, at least we'll know where our backpack is. We should spawn nearby with it. Hypno, after watching other people explain Serco's progression, you actually made it harder on yourself by going after a lot of the late game bosses very early. Well, let me ask you this. For somebody who has never played a game where there's multiple paths and you don't know every single path that's available, how do you know what boss is a late game boss, what boss is not a late game boss, and which path you should take if you've never played it before. I mean, I might have made it harder on myself, but since I've never played the game before and I don't know the available options, that seems to me like that's on the devs for making the game be playable like that. I'm just saying. Uh, Sock Puppet just reset for 13 months. Sock Puppet, welcome back. Thank you so much for the 13 months of support. Hey, Hypno, first time getting on in forever. Moved out of your parents' house a while ago and got a full-time job. Been watching the VODs, though. Awesome. Welcome back, Sock Puppet. Thank you for the 13 months. Forky Duck just reset for 32 months with a tier 3 sub. Forky Duck, welcome back. Thank you so much for that 12th. 32 months, and that tier 3. Meep to you too. 
Remember, there's only one proper way to play through a game, and you should always watch someone else do it first. Exactly. Exactly. Where are we at? Where's my backpack? I don't have my backpack. A uh, fishing harpoon. I have a linen cloth. I'm in a reptilian lair. Hmm. So we did this reptilian lair. This is where we uh, fought the alpha guy, but I have no memory of this place. Remember. Yeah, everything's dead. We've already killed everything all up in here. Is this the way out right here? Oh, this is the way out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's totally on the devs. It didn't mean anything is on you. Just saying that you played it as a hardcore player. I mean, I wasn't specifically trying to go after hard bosses. I was playing through the game. I got to a boss. I was like, all right, let's fight the boss. I wasn't purposely trying to make it harder on myself. I wasn't purposely trying to skip things. I know that after watching other people play it, like I've watched speedruns of the game now. Um, I've watched people do like the all prayer beads and whatever. Um, I know that I have missed a great number of bosses and a whole lot of content in the game. But, I mean, how do I know? Never played it before. I didn't know what to do, where to go, all that kind of stuff. So... Man, how far away is my backpack? I have to travel through all this stuff with, like, no HP. I can't even sleep because I don't have a sleeping bag. My, the tip of my nose is just itchy. Where's my backpack? I am still just a puppy, according to Butterfly. But you know what? We kicked her butterfly butt. After about 50 attempts. But we did it. Alright, that's all that matters. Doesn't matter how many times we did it. Where is my backpack? It's moving. I'm getting closer to it, apparently. It's over here. Okay. Oh, I found it. Got it. Okay. Well, let's just pop down a uh, tent here. Deploy. You love my Let's Play the most? Awesome. The thing I really regret about my first play of the game, especially the first uh, two to three days of playing it, is I was playing it like it was a Dark Souls game. And it's absolutely not meant to be played that way. Guess we'll repair for a little bit too. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't put up my guarding. I should have guarded a little bit longer. We might get attacked. This could be bad. Okay, now we're fine. Um, yeah, I was playing it like it was Dark Souls or Bloodborne and trying to dodge attacks and things like that, which can work, but mostly, mostly you have to play it with uh, parrying. Yeah. Do I got stuff to sell this person? Oh, what's the other side? I want to buy something. What do we have in our inventory? I don't even remember. <clears throat> Doesn't look like we have anything on us worth selling. They have anything on them worth buying is the other question. I'm guessing no. Mm, my goodness, why does the tip of my nose itch? Ugh. The steel shield, right? We sold that to them. Now they're trying to hawk it for two hundred. I think we sold it for sixty. Deflect dodging. No one really played it right the first time. Yeah, unless they watched somebody else play and they knew how to play it. I mean, that's pretty much it. Dude, this guy. Oh, you know what? Take off the backpack, guy. Alright, knocked him out of the park. Let's take this sorcerer down or whatever you are. Boop! Oh, I tried doing my special move. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm gonna die if I don't... Oh, they died. Oh, that's right! We inflict extreme bleeding with this axe. I forgot. This thing's good. We can just, like, poke people and run.
But you know, we are like right next to um, this caravan. Let's sell that steel shield. To be fair, the game does a poor job of explaining that deflecting is almost always the better option. You're all for games letting the player figure things out, but it's actively misleading with how it introduces defense mechanics. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would uh, tend to agree. Let's get rid of the turnips. We don't need those. Confirm. Okay, uh, this stuff. We can equip those. That goes back down here. Let's drop. We don't need two fishing harpoons. Bread. That. That. Okay. A gorgeous reset for 10 months. Score, welcome back. Thank you so much for the 10 months of support. We need to deploy our tent again. We're going to heal up. I like how I was able to place it, even though it was red. Sock Puppet dropping 60 bits. Thank you for the bits, Sock Puppet. Appreciate it. Let's do that. Top cheer. Well, I mean, the cheer thing gets reset weekly. So, yeah, you get top cheer when it's the first stream of the week. Very, very quickly. All right, how, did, how much is that? Yeah, we need to take two drinks. Man, I really wish my I knew why my nose was so itchy all of a sudden. <laughs> That's annoying. Ah, why? Why you do these? All right, let's eat one of these things, get us some stamina. Take care of a hundred, get rid of our tent. All right, so I saw, yeah, I saw these guys over here. Let's try and take these guys down. Easy, easy mode. There we go. Now we're able to take him down. Now we got our stamina back. Take all. Take all. All right. So I don't remember. First of all, I don't remember where we are. I assume we're somewhere over here. I assume we're somewhere over here. Um. Okay, so we can see the wind tower thing and that to the north. Oops. So yes, we are like right here, I think. Maybe maybe you're like right over here. Um, I think we're gonna go to the giant's village is where I wanted to go. So let's head to the east. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where we we're intending on going was to the Giants Village when uh, the power got cut off on Friday, when the lightning knocked it out or whatever happened. Hello, Mad Seed. Can we even get to the Giants Village and are these like friendly people or is this like a dungeon? I honestly have no idea. This must be like a dungeon. Well, that's definitely a giant. Not non aggressive though. I like how there's vendors set up, but they have no interaction with me. This is very weird. Do we have a map? No. Can't talk to any of these guys. What the heck? Junk pile. 
Dark, rich attire. Stamina cost minus 10. What is our current armor that we're wearing? St oh, and movement speed. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's obviously better. Uh, yeah, we already looked in there. I don't know what that is, but that looks kind of cool. Hey. Per Look at this hit Heidi chest. A felling great axe. Is right. another Heidi chest over here? No, just the one. What is this? It's just some kind of plant life. All right. It was very Heidi. Super, super Heidi. Now, I remember when we, like, zoned in here, I thought I saw a chest somewhere. Yeah, there's a chest right there. Straight ahead. Can we open these? Or is that a merchant? We can talk to Gold Belly. Told off. Let's see what else we can see here. Okay, we already went over and looked at this vendor. Who doesn't vend? We got clean water. All right. What else? What else? Dude, that is nightmare fuel if I've ever seen it. Seriously, what, what's with that mask? L little creepy there, guy. Little creepy. Hmm. What's this? Marshmallow tartine. I think we already learned that, didn't we? Yeah, we already know that. Ooh, junk pile. A marshmallow and a mushroom bar. Mmm, mushroom bars. Just like mom used to make. Delicious. Why is there a salt crystal in the middle of their village? That's kind of random. Oh, my bag is overweight now? It is a little overweight, isn't it? How much does that weigh for? We'll put that there. Okay, we're fine. We're good. Everything's good. I don't like the lack of background music in this area. Like, when we came into this area, there was definitely background music playing, and now there isn't. Hmm. These guys definitely like their pottery. Dude, this guy's like smoking. So far, the only person we've been able to interact with is Gold Belly. Hey, we got music again. Oh, camera, please. I think I have looked at everything so far. That's the only person we can talk to right here. Hello there, my little friend. Welcome to our outpost. What can I, do? what can I do to make us both happy? Hmm. I want to buy something. I want to talk. I want to leave. I'm leaving. Let's buy something. What do you got? What can I, can I sell you back the crap that I just looted out of your own village? Because that'd be pretty awesome. Uh, tattered hood. What else do we got? I don't really want those or that. Or that, or that. Um, 
I'm gonna sell that off. Like, I know mana restoration is probably pretty good, but we don't really use a whole lot of mana at this point, so feels kind of pointless to hold on to it. Uh. Ooh. This guy has a lot of stuff. I didn't even look at his stock. I was just looking to sell off stuff. All right, what do you got? Anything good here? Another luxury tent. Bolt varnish. Hmm. Hmm. Golem elixir. I wish it told me what these things are. Like, do I want to buy a recipe for something? I have no idea what it is. I mean, that scroll looks better than everything else, and it's also 50. So we already know all these different varnishes. Maybe I should learn bolt varnish. Let's do that. Uh, Survivor elixir, warrior elixir. All right, you know, we're taking them. We're doing it. We're doing it. Stone flesh elixir. All right. So I got to give him a gold bar. Okay, confirm. All right, let's learn them. Read, 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 and read. I'm so smart now. Okay, I want to talk. What is on your mind, small one? I don't need anything right now. Ah, you make gold belly sad, small one. Okay, well, this was kind of a waste of time. I thought there was going to be something interesting going on here. There isn't. Hypnotize the guy sell iron. Thought you can talk to him. I did try to talk to him. I said that I had nothing to say. So there's a giant's ruin to the south. I guess we're going to go explore that. Oh, let's take a swig of water. Looks like there's some salt down there. I don't see a lot of reason to go down there. Okay. How am I liking Manica 2 Expert? I like it. It's a little slower paced, which is fine. And some of the recipes require a lot more time than what I think they should. But other than that, like as far as gameplay goes, I think it's fine. Get nommed. Nom. All right, firefly powder. I don't know really what that's used for. I'm sure some kind of alchemy stuff. Oh, is that a... Oh, it looks like we're going to fight a, a giant, huh? All right, well, if you want to go, let's go. What you got? Oh. Should probably equip my uh I was gonna say equip my number two move. My rage or whatever. So great life potion, palladium scrap, astral potion. Alright. What is this? Oh, can we not pick up his weapon? Really? Lame. Tom Nichols just resub for 31 months. Tom, welcome back. Thank you so much for the 31 months of continued support. I do appreciate it. And thank you for using that tier three sub. Goodness. 
Goodness, goodness. We're gonna sleep. We had to sleep. There are two NPCs I didn't talk with. We walked up to like every single person there. And that was the only one that I saw give me a uh, an interaction thing. His weapon is almost two times me. That's fine. I should still be able to pick it up and it should weigh a lot. And I can drag it back and sell it to the to Gold Belly or whatever his name was. I'm hungry and thirsty. All right. How are we doing on food? All right. So we'll take one of these. And one of these. What's this thing? Is this something? Grab, I don't care about those. An alchemy kid. <clears throat> I thought, oh, these are marshmallows here. I thought I saw that there was like an inside to this. How do you get in this building? There's no way in. That's odd. There's a tower. There's lights on in the tower, but there's no way into the tower. Now that thing is standing straight up. What? Now it's in the ogre's hand. Or the giant's hand. Oh, you know what? That's the ruin right there, isn't it? How's the laser eye thing working out? Better question, what is it like to wake up and be able to see across the room? It's glorious. It's everything you imagine it would be. Uh, just not having to worry about glasses anymore is huge. It's huge. Huge. I thoroughly enjoy it. Is there a way over to that island? There doesn't appear to be, so I'm going to have to, like, go across. We need to find a shore. If we're going to go over there, we have to find, like, a shore or something. Oh, here's a guy. How did I miss that other attack? I don't know. There we go. Okay, let's equip our bag, then we'll loot. The recurve bow must be like the top end bow. That's I haven't seen anything better than that, which is kind of disappointing. To be honest. Found Hypno's glasses. Selling Hypno's glasses. Can I see one dollar? Don't sell my glasses. They still have sentimental value to me. They don't. Not really. I still have them. I don't know why. I should just throw them away. Open broken tent. could donate them uh i guess i probably could or i could just keep them i mean there's that too Uh, what is that right there? Another hollow trunk? Makeshift leather boots? I, did we learn those like forever ago, didn't we? That seems weird that makeshift leather boots are a, a scroll that you can find like outside the starting area. 
I think you just start with that knowledge. I don't know what that is. I think that's one of those things that like wrecked us, that like knocked us to the ground and hit us five times in a row and just completely annihilated us. I don't think I want to go over there. Just saying, I don't think I want to go over there. So we're heading south right now. We were here. Was that the Ziggurat Passage over there? Maybe. So further south is a Spire of Light, and then we can go back to the forest. Hmm. You know what? What is this thing? I don't know what that is. Is there any place? Yeah, we didn't go to like these areas, but that's fine. I almost kind of want to go to the forest and then head over to the desert. We haven't been to that area yet. Lens Crafters has a donation station. That's what you do when you get new frames. What exactly does donating your glasses do? Do they give them to people who can't afford glasses? Dude, drop your bag. Okay, that one's got bleeding on it. We can just let him bleed out. Okay, or we can just kill it, I guess. Woo, we're about to die. Actually, let's do this. There it is, okay. That was very, very close. So we are diseased. I don't know if that's doing damage to us. I'm gonna take a bandage just to make sure. Uh, Shift says, just woke up, made coffee, made bacon, good day. Well, that sounds like a great day. The laser place you went to had a donation bin for glasses? Hmm. They send with the doctors overseas. It's really the frames they need. I don't know. It seems silly that I paid all that money to buy the glasses to just give them to somebody and be like, here, you can have them now. You don't get to pay. To me, I find that to be a little silly. All right, so we really need to sleep. We need to take care of this disease. Um, yeah, lose 3% of your health per minute. Uh, so we need something that restores a disease. Here's indigestion, burnt mana, recoveries from the cold. Man, what do we what do we do for diseases? I don't remember. Impact resistance. Is it bitter spice tea? It says cures infections. Is that is a disease an infection? Apparently. Yeah, it doesn't say that it cures diseases. Okay, thank you for the assist. Uh, all right, so we need to like get rid of 17. 
or somewhere close to that. I guess we can turn that into scrap. Uh, so now we only have to get rid of three to four. There we go. Now we're good. So yeah, let's bust out the tent, I suppose. I was kind of hoping to find a butterfly area, but I'm not seeing one, so we're going to sleep. Did it say disease infection? Maybe I didn't read it all the way. That I mean, that's a strong possibility. All right, do that. What happened to that time stomp? I'm not sure what you're asking, Jelly. We'll take a bandage. Our health is mostly refilled. All right, so bandaging the wounds. I'm gonna. That bread's gonna go to waste. Let's eat that bread, and then we will uh, have one of these things. Drink some water. All right, I think we're good to go. Oh. Oh, I see. Yep, yep. You're asking Raffle Stump. How do we get to where I'm trying to go? I guess I have to follow this road further down. Okay. So we're going north. I think we need to go this way then, yeah? Oh, hey. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, NPC to sell our junk to. Perfect. Easy. I like how they got caught up on the uh, NPC. All right. Uh, so we want to sell off. What? We, man, we got so much weight that we need to get rid of. What do we have that's so weightful? Is weightful even a word? Oh, those weigh one and a half each? Oh boy, I didn't realize those were that. Okay, let's sell these off. I know we got a lot of bandages on us. We don't need that, we don't need that. We already know how to make those. We don't need that. Um. I guess we'll get two gold bars. We could probably get three. Okay. So we had 20 gold, seven silver. How's our weight? Man, we're rocking 100.7. What are we... 
what do we have on us that we don't need? I guess these endurance potions we don't need. There is something on us that's like super heavy. I guess we don't need all these antidotes. What else? How much is that? That only weighs four. That's not like super. I guess we can get rid of this stuff. These must weigh a lot? No, no. Really, these travel rations, 18 of them weigh nine pounds? I guess food is heavy. That weighs five pounds, all that tea. Okay. I feel like we shouldn't be traveling this heavy, but I guess we have all these different potions and stuff on it, so. Chuvin just reset for 33 months. Chuvin, welcome back. Thank you for the 33 months. I do appreciate it. Hello, Cracker. So let's sell off this mana potions, I guess. We don't really need those. Ugh. We need a stash somewhere. I'm going to sell off that alpha meat. We're not using it. We're not going to be using it. Uh... All right, well, we're down to 94. I need to get rid of like some of these potions and these travel rations and stuff. All right, so where are we right now? Do we go this way? I think we're going this way. Dude, that's a pretty crazy looking tower. That must be the Spire of Light. Let's go see what's up there. I have no idea what those are, but that looks like, uh, looks like bad news. Spire of Light, huh? What we got? I guess nobody's been here for a while, long enough for this body to like be dead and then decay and then turn nothing into and then turn into bones. So immediately I see a lever underneath that walkway. No idea what that does. We'll look at it in a moment. So we can go into that door. Was there a door on the other side? We're we in a fight? Oh snap, we are in a fight, okay. Okay, that guy's dead. What does this do? Okay, so these are like the guys that we saw outside. Uh, is that damage that we're taking over time? What is it? Doom, the lightning damage and resistance. Okay, normally when you hear doomed, or at least for me, I think of Final Fantasy doomed, which means you die after a certain amount of time. As long as that's just like taking your lightning damage down or something, that's fine. Palladium. All right. Well... 
we heal them. Let's use one of our uh, healing pots. Uh, take some water too. Let's go up and see what else is here before we try and interact with anything. Yeah, we got another enemy right here. I like just being able to completely overwhelm them. If there's more than one, that's not quite as easy, but with just one guy, you can just keep bashing away at him. I like this axe a lot. What is this? Gold Lich Mechanism, a box of golden gears used to craft a wide variety of weapons. Okay. I think we got another dude right there. How's my health doing? Is he coming down here? Oh, he is coming down here. All right. Drop the bag. Air weapon. Get in that corner. Awesome. This great axe is absolutely ridiculous. Another mechanism. What is this thing? Well, I don't know what it is, but oh, there's a hidden chest. Okay. Phytosaur spear. The brutal club. Might as well learn that. How are we doing on wheat? We're still okay. Ooh, a blue thing. Mm. Bandage. We'll also uh, get rid of our burnt uh, health. And burnt stamina while we're at it. There we go. Up and up we go. Okay, so I see one guy over there on the other stair. I don't see anybody like right next to us. There's another guy way up there. Master Treater Boots, really. More water, that's always nice, I suppose. Speaking of water, let's use the water. Put that down there, let's put one into our pocket. Oh, I'm gonna go back and pull the levers. I'm just clearing this place out first. Don't you worry. Another lever. I actually don't want a second fish. Oop, 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 equip. Drop. I don't want a second fishing harpoon. Okay, so that guy's over there and we have no way to get to them. Does pulling this lever like move the staircases Harry Potter style? Is that what's going on? I don't think we can do anything else at this point. Hello, great monkey. <clears throat> All right, let's pull this lever.
I don't know what that just did. Oh, we didn't enter into this door down here we could enter into, did we? So we have a barrier here. I assume what we're doing this place, is, oh, we can see on the other side of the barrier. I assume what we're going to be doing is uh, removing this barrier. All right. Ooh, what's this? Oh, is that how we came into this place? I think that's how we came in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right. I don't think I'm allowed in there yet either. I wish you could put stuff back in a chest so I could drop things that I don't want not into the world, but into a chest. It looks like there should be a door there, but there isn't. We already done that junk pile. All right, let's do this lever. Do you see something here? No. So I did something, but I don't know what I just did. I heard a sound. Oh, there's another lever over here. Um. Wow, camera, please. So I can only interact with those levers once. It's not like a puzzle where you're going to have one flipped one way and one another way. Oh, this has now gone away. Okay, interesting. Oh, don't die. Dang, I lost a bit of health there. I kind of wanted to see if this blue barrier is here anymore since that blue up there is gone. We need to eat more of this. And one of these. Uh, yeah, exotic or exothermic, you don't need to tell me. Like, I'm still playing around and figuring it out. I'm not stuck. So we can get into here. Oh, F to teleport. Okay. And... So another lever here. <clears throat> I'm actually going to equip my armor this time. No, 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 no. You die now. Where'd the other one go? There it is. You can't see me. I'm invisible.
Weather defense potion, sure. Another one of the gold lich mechanisms, bolt varnish. Do we have a bolt um potion? We have warm, we have mist. I don't think we have bolts. That's too bad. Oh wait, what is this one? Oh that that's the thing we just got lightning element to our melee weapon. I don't think we want to do that. Alright, so we pulled that lever. I assume that allows us to use this teleport here. Let me just give this a good old once over real quick before we move on. Oh, junk pile. Alright. So that's where we came from. Okay, bandage. You see, we need to get to the top before this barrier goes away. I don't know if there's any timed things. But if nothing else, the monsters don't respawn. Oh, is this a boss? As far as I know, the monsters don't respawn. So if we don't make it in a certain amount of time, we can just like come back here and then we'll be able to go through here quickly. So I'm not sure what this is. Looks a little scary. Let's get some potions on my person here. Moderate resistance against fire, frost, lightning, decay, and ethereal damage. Let's put one of those, just one. I'm going to use one of these. Let's use one of these. Um, move to pockets. And move to pocket. Discipline potion. Man, we got so many potions. Move to pocket. Okay, I think we should be okay. I'm not gonna drop my backpack until I know what's going on here. Let's, oops, wrong button. I want to take uh, water. This looks like this is gonna spawn some kind of boss. Lever. No junk piles around. All right, let's go. Oh. Now, one step further, bearer of corruption. Turn back or your life is forfeit. The light mender will not tolerate your presence here. <laughs> I'll go wherever I damn well please, voice. Who are you? I am the light mender. I am not someone to be trifled with. I have seen centuries pass in my time as a lich. I will not let you sully this place with the corruption in your very blood. Um, you're clearly not a good person. I'll teach you a lesson, light mender. You would fight me? Human foolishness is proven yet again. Raise your fist against me and you will be scorned clean of corruption where you stand. S scorn? Scoured. We can teleport. Oh boy. So I think Whoop. Okay. Get all of these buffs going here. We'll get out there. Okay, that hurt a lot. So we just wasted all those buffs. I should have fought it once, seen what the fight was like, and then applied buffs to fight it. Yep. 
Yeah, he certainly scoured me. I feel super scoured. I have no head. Hey, a chest. And... Are we on that south beach thing again? I think we are. Oops, wrong button. That was a fancy arena. I kind of want to go back there and kick its butt. Now that I kind of have an idea of what's going on. I can play a lot more safely. Yeah, we're at that place we were before. So we are down here somewhere. Probably like right here. So we just need to head over to the east a bit. That's actually not that bad. Yeah, last time we were here, we went over this way and we kind of went up and around and looked at all this stuff. Yeah, we're just right here. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is a safe place. Let's go ahead and sleep in here and get our stamina buff. And what's that green skull icon that we have right now? I'm not sure what that is. Let's figure that out. That is uh, possessed, decay and damage resistant, plus twenty. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we are going to sleep, and we're gonna repair. We'll probably repair a little bit more after this. Repair the rest of my armor and stuff that needs to be repaired. I'm hungry and thirsty. That's fine. Need one of these travel rations. Okay. Uh, so how's the rest of my armor doing? Actually, it's not that bad. All right. We're just going to sleep again. Sleep till day. That should be good. Okay, how long do we have on our tent buff? Long time. So our bag is overweight currently. Still overweight. What are we wearing? How do we have three Master Trader boots now? Anything else we can get rid of? Not really. All right, we're no longer overweight. Let's go. I wish I could sell the Master Trader gear for like the hundreds of silver that we bought it for, but we're probably only gonna be able to get like 60 for it or something, if that. A little disappointing. That vendors can charge like such an extreme price. Ooh. You know, I don't think we wanna go that way. I think we wanna go around this way. That water gives you like poison or whatever, and if you're in it longer, it starts stacking up, and then you start taking loads of damage. Not very fun. How did we get out of here before? I don't quite remember. Oh, this seems familiar. Ugh. Thick oil and iron scraps. I need to get up higher. Don't go into the rancid water, guy. Don't do it. We need to be up there somehow. Hey, a chest. I 
can't help myself. My bag's overweight, and yet I gotta get more. Uh, so we're looking north. Where are we at? Yeah, we need to somehow get up here. This take me higher. All right, we also need stamina food going here because this is silly. Okay, now we're good. Uh, hello, Byru, Byruk. And that's where we're heading back to. What an annoying run back. Holy crap. I didn't even get to where I needed to be. We took a wrong turn. Wait, what was that? A looter's corpse. You know, what, I'll take the silver. So, we must be like right here. Need to find some other way over to the uh, the east. I think I see the path. Oil. How am I liking this game? I mean, the game is fun. I put in a few hours into it. Like when we started today, I was at thirty-one hours. For the price that I paid, I would say it's been entertaining. There's been some things about it that have been like. A little wonky. The combat's kind of iffy. It's either like I completely dominate people or I get wrecked. It's what it feels like. Uh, what is going on here? I don't really want to fight these guys. Are they going to attack? Oh, they are attacking. Look at that. I was kind of hoping I'd just go over there and put extreme bleeding on everybody. Oh. Oh my goodness. Probably should be dropping my backpack to fight these guys properly. They all dead now? Yeah, I think I got bleeding on that other one. That's how Skyrim felt to you. Every fight was a curb stomp. It's just a matter of who was getting stomped. Um, didn't I see like a rich iron vein over here? I saw that like right as I was about to engage these guys. Maybe not rich, just regular iron. Okay. Just curious what's over here. Seems like a place that they had put some kind of like hidden treasure or something. Nope. Nope, just death and sorrow if you step over that edge. Is that a satellite dish? What is that? I keep hearing people say the combat's like Dark Souls. I completely disagree. The only thing that's like resembles Dark Souls combat is the fact that you can easily die. It's either like you land your blows and you don't get hit or you die. 
But I don't feel like this is Dark Soulish at all. Okay, so we need to get over here. Is this our road? This is our road right here. I think there is a vendor nearby if we go back over this way. So I'll sell all this extra crap that we got. Oh, yeah. We got these guys outside. Right. And two more of these things. So we can just leave those guys alone. I want to get back to our vendor dude. It was just over here somewhere. Hello, Just Player. Uh, hello, C. Malky. You put two weeks in this game and you're addicted? Like two full weeks of playtime? Or you've been playing it for the last two weeks on and off? The vendor was just like right over here, wasn't it? We killed these guys. Oh, did that vendor that was here? Is that somebody who just moves? Is that not a permanent resident? Oh no. That must have been a temporary vendor then. Ah, oh, that sucks. Alright, let's kill this guy. You're dead. All right, um, great button, please. That's a long walk up to the Jazz Village. Maybe we'll find a vendor along this path here. Another guy who wants to die. Oh, that's two guys. Mm. Man. Now I gotta like drop some stuff and I definitely don't want to do that. I want to sell it. Where are we at? In Marker Forest. We're like along here. I guess we're just gonna end up dropping some stuff. Because it has, because it's slow and has dodge rolling, it's Dark Souls exactly. But that's not the first time I've heard it compared to that. I think one person made that comparison, so therefore everybody who heard that comparison made now says it. I don't know. After playing all of the Dark Souls games, Bloodborne and Sekiro, I really don't see this game being compared. Except by people who have never played those games. And that is really disappointing that, that vendor that was here, at least that I assume was here, is no longer here. 
And there's like a ghost on this bridge now. What is this? Strange apparition has been added to the journal. Okay. It's pretty obvious that the developers took inspiration from Dark Souls for their combat system. What is this? Something, oh, it says take, yeah. An ancient looking tablet lies here. It might be of interest to someone who is well traveled. Take it. The ornate granite tablet is covered in the symbols of old languages. It might be useful later. All right. Hello, voiceless. I mean, Minecraft is pretty much exactly like Dark Souls. It's got combat in it. You can wield a sword and attack skeletons. Except it's, there's building and there's like a survival aspect. Like you have to eat and sleep and build a house and stuff. But, but it's basically Dark Souls, right? Because like there's combat in it. Um, okay. Move to pocket. Move to pocket. So outward is basically Minecraft with just better graphics. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Chat is basically Dark Souls. I'm not sure, maybe we should use one of these things. Like, it's obviously lightning, but I don't know if there's like, if it's uh, just resistant to lightning and everything else works better on it, or if like there's a certain element that we should use against it. I honestly don't know. Let's try fire. Sure, why not? Actually, let's put two of them. No, 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 we'll just use one. So we definitely want to eat another one of these. I don't think there's anything else in this part of my inventory that's going to help me. So as far as potions go, uh, we need a full heal. Let's start taking a bandage now. I didn't notice my health was that low. Um... Burnt health. Move that to pocket. My pocket's overweight now. All right. Yeah, we're gonna be really overweight. I think I'm gonna equip this armor too. We're at 3.4 out of 10, so we can definitely carry more stuff. Cuphead's hard, Dark Souls is hard, therefore Cuphead equals Dark Souls, right? Man, we're just gonna like use all these buffs and then go in there is what's gonna happen. K 
kind of wish we had a lightning resistance. But we don't. That bandage is dumb. Let's use another bandage. I mean, I guess we could just put down our tent and sleep, but I kind of don't want to do that. Let's just use these bandages and full heal. You remember reading in an actual gaming publication that Cuphead was just like Dark Souls, and you think your spirit left your body in that moment? Let me guess, that was a Kotaku article. Another bandage. It might have been Kotaku. <laughs> now, these other abilities that I have, I like put them down here, but I don't remember what they are. So I know this one is our jump. What is number four? What is that ability? High damage and impact strike that deals twice as damage against knockdown foes. Oh, okay, right, right, right. So that's that's the one I've been trying to spam. I think I've been pressing number three, trying to do like that super high damage thing. Okay. Got it. So one more bandage. And once that's done, we will take one more bandage. Use our T to restore our burnt stamina, and then take a swig of water, and then we should be good to go. Hopefully, we will do some good work against this en enemy. This has lightning resist on the body, which we didn't have on our other armor, I don't think. Yeah, this doesn't have any resistances. Yeah, this armor is, like, a lot better for what we're about to do. <clears throat> Okay, so we're pretty much fully healed. Uh, we're going to take this. Let's move this out of my pocket. Put a full one, or I guess mostly full anyway. We'll use that one. I think we're good to go. I kind of just want to... I'll go where I damn well please voice. You're clearly not a good person. I'm going to teach you a lesson, Light Mender. Okay. So now I want to use all of my buffs. Okay, let's go. Drop the backpack immediately. Okay. Dude, just get completely annihilated. Beware the gold lich log has been updated. That went a lot better than we did the last time. And I didn't even use my rage. I should have used my rage. <clears throat> this is Dark Souls 2 since it has combat. That's where the conversation started. Is that... I don't remember who it was that was saying that this game has its combat is very much like Dark Souls. Talk to the Light Mender. Enough! I will fight no more. You are an exceptional warrior, human. My injuries will take weeks to repair. But know this though, you have delayed my work. You are not you have not stopped me. I am immortal. I am an immortal lich. The phylactery? Phylactery. That remains my immortality is hidden safely from humankind. You can slay, you cannot slay me no matter how hard you try. All right. Go on then. 
Leave with your precious little victory. When my injuries have been repaired, my work will resume once again. Then I will just come back in a few days and beat you down again. So you're saying I just have to come back in a few days to stop you again? Okay, sure. Same time next week then? We can do this for years, you know? <laughs> I like all these different dialogue options. They all say the same thing. <laughs> same time next week then? We can do this for years, you know? Let's do that one. What? You come back again and again just to keep me beaten down? You monstrous inhuman beast. Is your thirst for violence endless? I beat you once, I can do it again. Or you can just stop what you're doing and make this all go away. I don't want to, but if you're going to keep planning to mess with my people, so help me I will. Who's the monstrous one again? I'm going to enjoy breaking you over and over. Like all of these dialogue options are all the same thing. Uh, let's do option number one. Or you can just stop what you're doing and make this all go away. An endless circle of violence. This benefits neither of us. I have a counter proposal, human. I will cease my work until your life has ended. If that's not enough, I have material wealth I can provide to buy your peace. I mean... If he's not going to do it while I'm alive? That's fine. That's fine. And then he's going to buy me off? I like money. <clears throat> the spire is a vast collection tool for rare resources. Return every week and I will share some of the, the minerals and rare ores it provides me. And I can prove to you that my work has ceased. In this way, no more, no, no more violence is needed. Uh, Deal. You better keep your end of the bargain, lich. You can trust my word. A delay of a few decades means nothing to one who is immortal. I may not be pleased with the, this turn of events, but I have more to lose if I break my word to you. I am glad we could find an efficient use of our time. Here, as a show of good faith, you may have your first peace payment. You may choose to take three of these rare materials with you, then leave me be. I'm just gonna RP walk over here, no big deal. Amalite. Copal. Palladium. Blue sand. Hackmanite. Well, I know that's worth 50. Blue sand we can get all the time. Palladium seems to be dropping off enemies. I don't know what Copal is and Amalite is, so I think we're gonna take this. I want it. Oh, I can just keep taking these over and over. I thought I just had an option of taking one. What is Copal? No, I'm just going to take three of these. Okay, so we got to do something about our weight issues here. Um, I'm just going to drop these arrows here. Oh, we got a gold lich spear and a gold lich mask. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Gold lich armor. Mana cost minus 30, mana cost minus 20, and mana cost minus 20. Wow. That's some pretty baller magey equipment. Minus 70 mana cost if you wear all of the pieces. I don't want that torch. It's not time for the next payment, human. Return once a week has passed. Where where am I supposed to go? Ugh, I can't move. Yeah, let's move all these potions and stuff back to where they belong.
Reward every week for the rest of your life. Yep, yep, not a bad thing. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, and I'm walking so super slowly. Can I drop something? Man, I don't want to drop anything. I could drop one of these water skins. They don't weigh anything, though, the empty ones. Ah, let's get rid of the alchemy station. It's fine. That's much more reasonable movement speed. Oh, I didn't see this glowy pillar. I guess this is where we go out. He just threatened to beat him up again for more stuff. Be like, hey. What do you mean only three items? How about you give me like 12 items and I'll consider letting you live. So there's apparently more to this. I wonder if we can get into that area downstairs now. I really need to find a vendor to sell. This is stupid. I'm going to check down here. And see if that doorway is open. Just so I know. And then we're going to go run and find a vendor. And if this is open, we're going to come back here. Oh, yeah, this is open. Where does this go? Okay, there's enemies in there. Yeah, we'll have to come back for this. We need to find a vendor stat. I think we're just going to follow that path all the way back around counterclockwise. If you go out the back of Spire of Light, the road to end marker is just there. I've seen that out here. Can I just walk around this way? Or is there a back exit that I missed? Oh, go out. Okay, okay. I wish this had a potion in it like Skyrim does, where you could drink it and it like increases your carry weight for a short amount of time. That'd be like super awesome to have. I forget, did we end up buying that house in Berg? If so, we got a lot of stuff to drop off. All these extra potions and travel rations and stuff. So you say this door takes us... Okay, I didn't even look. Hmm. Oh, we got baddies over here that we're going to have to kill too. We won't be able to run past them, I don't think. Let's get our uh, stamina food going. I don't know what this guy is, but I don't like the big, like, cannon thing he has. So he's my first priority. Okay, he shoots out, like, that lightning stuff. Did 
Dude, just get completely dominated. All right, what you got on you? I'm going to use that health potion. There we go. Uh, so we're heading north. Yeah, we want to head over this way a little bit. That's something. These firefighters are kind of nice. It's like having a lantern that it's essentially free. Another skeleton. So that cost some travel rations. Do that. That'll lighten our load a little bit. Okay, so where are we at? Oh, yeah, that is a very quick run. Face of the Asians. So just south and then head to the right a little bit by the river. You're next, buddy. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh, that's right. We uh, lose our stamina buffs when we zone. Change areas. Oh, boy. Oh, I need Rage Boom. Did I just kill that guy? I killed him. Okay, that's good. There we go. Doesn't really have anything on him worth taking. Where's the other one? Wasn't there three? There it is. All right. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, take our stamina food. More peeps that are about to get wrecked. There we go. A round shield and iron maze. Take all of that. All right. 
Keep going. If we keep looting and killing people on the way to Berg, we're eventually not going to be able to make it to Berg. We won't be able to move. Hello, lovable lop. How are you doing? Go, 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 go. So slow. <laughs> you doing good? Awesome. So those of you who are playing the game right now, what kind of a build are you doing? Are you doing a melee build, a magey build, a, an archery build? Like, what kind of a build are you guys going for? Gotta get to a vendor quick. A vendor, vend things. All right, so we are not doing anything with this armor. We're just selling it. All of that stuff. Don't care. Don't care. We don't need like three pairs of that armor. You're currently rogue mercenary shaman using Tyranitor one hand axe and a Manticore dagger cannon pistol. That sounds pretty awesome. So then So those I think I'm gonna hold on to some of this stuff here. Some of this stuff is obviously just garbo. So then those, this, these guys, those. Tiny aquamarine, a small sapphire. We don't need these bullets. We don't need incendiary charges. And we're almost getting a thousand back from this, from all this stuff. These sell for 21. I think we're going to hold on to those. Good, good, good. Let's buy all nine of those. Confirm. 29 gold is what we got right now. <clears throat> the gold lich items are unique? Well, now this vendor has unique items. We're never going to use them. No point in holding into items, hoarding them or whatever. Especially ones that we have no plans of ever using. Look at this, we did get a house here. Okay. Well, we haven't been fishing. I'm just gonna get rid of the fishing spear. Don't need the torch. It's time to start cleaning house a little bit. By house, I mean my inventory, obviously. Let's move like two of those over. Just keep like three of these on us. I know they don't weigh a whole lot, but there's no reason for having that many on us when we're not using them. Three of each flavor I think is fine. Move some rations over. We have 32 linen cloths. That's a little excessive it feels like. So the gold itself weighs almost three pounds. Interesting. All right. So let's restock our teas. 
Ups. I think we're good on that. Really don't need that tea on us at the moment. Okay, I think our weight is way better than what we were doing before. 70.6, it's pretty good. You always have them put in a legacy chest for mage playthrough. It's yeah, you know, you're not wrong, but I don't know if I'm gonna do another playthrough of this game. But yeah, I have heard of the legacy system, which is kind of interesting. Where once you've complete one playthrough, you can put like an item into the different legacy chests throughout the world, and you have to fight through those dungeons, and you can get a unique item that you might not normally be able to get on a second playthrough. But I don't know if we're going to be doing a second playthrough of this game, so not that concerned. Okay. Um, I think we're pretty much good at this point, yeah? We can make more bandages. The rest of that linen cloth we can put away. Uh, do we have any other potions in here that we could take with us? Oh yeah, we got a bunch of health potions. Let's move like two of those over. We have six of those. We really don't need six of those. What other potions do we have over here? Impact resistance. We will carry one more of those on us. Movement speed installed. That's our assassin's elixir. I'll carry one of those on us. A second one, I mean. Okay, I think... I think that should just about do it. What is that? Oh, Petrified Wood, right. Okay. So, now that we've done that, I think we're gonna sleep and repair. We're gonna use this tent so we get ourselves that stamina bonus. I don't think the house here in Berg gives us any sort of bonus. It might, like, um, fill up our thirst and our hunger, but honestly, I'd rather have the large stamina bonus. I need to check and see what the damage is on our axe. We've been axing people a few questions lately. You're pretty sure every bed gives you a 20% stamina bonus? I don't think so, because we slept in this bed in Berg, and it didn't give us any sort of bonus, and I was pretty disappointed about that. Um, What was I going to look for? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, we need to repair him. I guess we could have done like all the repairing inside the house, kept our food and hunger in check, and then slept in this tent for the bonus. That's good. Blue sand armor is fine. All right, so grab that water and then we can get moving. Oh, it feels good to be able to move speedy again.
Did I pass the fountain? Yeah, you know what? I think we ran right past it. Right there. We full up on water? We are. Alright, then we can eat one of these. Get the other stamina bonus. Um, if we're gonna be going to the desert, maybe they, they uh, cactus tea. Because that, like, prevents us from getting too hot, right? Helps with the heat and indigestion. We'll carry that with us. All right, so if we want to go to the desert from Berg, oh, we need to leave out of the uh, northeast exit. That was the one we came into, I believe. Drop less useful items and don't pick up everything you find. How can they make a game where you're supposed to loot everything and say not to pick up everything you find? I, I have to loot it all. It's just the way it is. I'm sorry if you disagree. Where are we at? So if I just follow this road up here. I must loot everything. Is this the exit? Ignore devs, acquire loot. Exactly. Exactly. Look at the maps as exterior regions are huge. Important landmarks have icons and hovering your cursor on them will show you their names. As if that's really going to help you at all, but it'll show you their names. Ken has all the shiny. Exactly. I'm glad we're all on the same page here. Oh, look at these guys. Lol, 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 you're dead. Lol, 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 you're dead. Whoop, hey, guy. Hey. Lol, lol. Oh, ho, 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 he's got moves. And he's dead. But he's got moves. Take all. Oh, did I not? Oh, I didn't loot this one. Take all. That's why every other backpack is inconsequential. Yeah, this backpack. Is there one that's better than this, or is this the backpack? I feel like this is the backpack. Just get wrecked. Our damage output is disgusting. I like how I just killed his buddy over here and this guy's just walking away like nothing. Where are you going? Can't get back here. I'm not done with you. Oh, look at those wall hacks. There you go. There you go. Come on. I press B. Other backpacks only give fringe benefits for specific builds. Just like Dark Souls, guys. Exactly like Dark Souls.
even harder than Dark Souls. I think somebody's never played Dark Souls before if they said that. Literally no other reasoning for that. Just like Dark Souls. Okay, which way are we going? So west takes us to the river. We want to go to the east. So probably this path. Oh, there's another thing right here. I didn't even see this. You should try Dark Souls sometime. Think your laptop can handle it. I would recommend the games. Like, if you've never played them before, they're definitely challenging. I thoroughly enjoyed my time playing all of them. You think Dark Souls comparison only goes so far as third person weapons have moves that you can learn roll everywhere for eye frames? Maybe. We're just kind of exploring. Actually, I don't really want to explore over there. I want to go to the desert. I want to see a new area that we've never been before. Dear, that's not how you are supposed to work. Is Dark Souls playable with a keyboard and mouse yet, or is it still abysmal? I honestly don't know, but I don't understand why you'd want to play with a keyboard and mouse. Like, pretty much all the Souls games are better with a controller. They've all been pretty much designed to work on a console. Oh, hey, our lantern died. Actually, no, don't use the bandage. We're going to sleep. Three worked well with a keyboard and mouse. I tried. I did try playing with a keyboard and mouse, and it just feels so awkward. Like, it really is better playing with the controller. Hello, Esty. How goes the adventuring? Pretty good. Yeah, if I were you, if you're going to play Dark Souls, I would just recommend go get yourself a wired Xbox controller. I personally have the um, Xbox One Pro controller, whatever, and I just plug it in using a USB cable. But... It, yeah, I w that's what I'd recommend doing. You don't have to get, like, the Elite controller. Just get whatever, just as long as it can be plugged in. Uh, you can use a PS4 controller, but then there's, like, all sorts of headache that you got to deal with with trying to get that to work. The Xbox controller just plugs in. You don't need any other software. It just works. Everybody I know that's tried using PS4 controller and PC always has a lot of problems. <laughs> 
So much so that I find it amusing. More bandits over here. Oh, okay, we didn't take any fall damage. Dude, this guy's got blue sand armor. What is this? Armor didn't save him, though. Oh, that's right. We just slept. I don't have my buffs. You'll have to do it with the PS4 controller or he's already got the setup done. Yeah, I mean, well, if you've already know what's going on with it, that's fine. But for somebody who doesn't have a controller, I, that's the last thing I would recommend for them. Uh, we need to eat. Let's eat this. Actually, we should not eat this food because we're about to zone through an area. And all that buff is going to go away anyway. I'll take that and that. I guess we'll take the dagger. We can sell that. Oop, did I just say take everything? Dang it. No, I don't think I did. Next level tactics. Thinking about zone changes. Well, every time I zone, like, my buffs wear. It's just super annoying. What was it down there? Hmm. I, I kind of want to explore this whole area, but I want to get to the desert. I want to check it out. That's like the last place, the last open world map we haven't been to, I think. You could also do first soul, first two souls on PS3 as well, and don't even bother with anything. Well, I mean, you could do that, but in my opinion, if you have the option of PC gaming or console gaming, I will always go PC. Always do PC over, but I guess it just depends on your PC setup. If you don't have a really strong gaming PC, then maybe the PS3 is the preferred option for you. All right. Well, oh, this is Vigil. We what? Oh, I went to the wrong path. Hello, BQ Sierra. How you doing? You doing all right? Good to hear. I am doing well also. Another alpha is about to get wrecked. Just accept it. Just accept it. So I assume this is the path to the desert? Do it. Travel rations required. Four of them? All right, let's go. We have seven. So we're going to have to make some travel rations to get back, but I think we'll be able to do that. That axe is good. It is good. That axe 
Took us a while to get. Ooh. Oh no, all my raw meat's run. What about my, uh... Oh, that alpha meat. Do we have a way to craft up, like, the alpha sandwiches? I don't think so. And there's no... Hmm. We don't have a cooking pot. Yeah, all that alpha meat that I just got is going to go to waste, I think. Okay, so we are getting hot. Let's use one of these teas. Where are we at? Nomad's Oasis. So there's Levant. So we just need to go all the way across the desert. Stone Titan Caves. Fort. I think we're just going to try and get to Levant as fast as possible. See what's up there. Maybe buy a house. Do we just go between these like pillar things? Is that the uh, the path? Peace out, guy. Is that like a giant beetle? What is this? Looks like a giant beetle. Oh, we didn't use our stamina food. We might be in a bit of a problem here. Okay, we're fine. Uh, this, use. Use that. What am I looking at? So the wind tower is to almost north of us, to the west, so we're about right here. So we just need to head pretty much straight east, I think, to Levon. I think. What is this in the center? Is that the ancient ruins? I honestly have no idea where I'm going. That's got to be the giant hive right there. Ah, oh, there's Levon. Okay, you can see in the distance. Perfect. Don't die. Don't die. Chest. Really? A desert veil. Let's hm. take it all, I guess. Hello, G Betters. How you doing? Ooh, that, those guys look like fun. Oh, you need gravel beals from, from the oil. I didn't know that. Red chocobo. You hope there's no 50 foot sandman? I mean, sandworm? Now the real question is, how do I get up there? Is there like a path over here? Is San What's San Min from? Is that a thing? Are you talking about like... Sandman is in somebody who makes you sleep? I, I didn't catch the reference. 
Can we gather a cactus? Oh, just an elemental man made of sand? Okay. And who would want to live in a desert where it's just unbearably hot all the time? Most of the year, anyway. I lived in Las Vegas for like two years. That was more than enough. You live in Los Angeles as a desert. It is significantly different than living in an actual desert. All right, let's go see what this city's about. Yes, first things first, let's look at the map. So do we come in through the south exit or this one? Because that looks like a round thing. Grand Inn. I gotta get my bearings here. I have no idea where we are. Yeah, we gotta be here because we're at this fountain. Ah, uh, Hypno, you made it. Welcome, my friend, to the Hero Kingdom of Levant. I've got some work to do, Hypno, but it was good to talk. It was good talking to my last friend in this damn town. Yeah. Yeah, you look like you're real busy, huh? Real busy there. Let's go talk to the shopkeeper, Sul. There's no shopkeeper, only Sul. A caravaner. Hey, I recognize you. It's a long way of tears, though, isn't it? What desires can I satisfy for you today? I want to buy something. Doot, doot, doot. Sell you this old busted mining pick. That, that. There's a veil, this thing, scavenger's coat, don't need that shield, because lol, shields. Crystal powder, you yeah, know, that's something we have. That raw alpha meat, we need to find some place to cook. Otherwise, that's just going to go bad. I'm going to be a sad panda. What did I just put in there? Oh, just predator bones? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We needed uh, two of the beast golem scraps, so I need to save that. The other one we put into um, wherever the last town was. We were just war in the forest. I don't remember the name of it offhand. Berg, thank you. Is that it? I think we're done selling. Dude, we got 33 gold bars. We are big balling now. I heard the food store stock contraband the scumbag. Take it down to browse. Only legit goods here. 
So basically what they're saying is go to the food store. A dry mushroom bar. Sure, let's learn that. MLA boots. You know what? We got all sorts of money. Let's go ahead and do it. Chitin Desert Tunic. Ice Flame Torch. That sounds useful. You got anything else in here worth buying? Alchemist Backpack. Advanced bag that slows down the decay of the food it contains. Strong box backpack. Tougher or a tough box that protects both the wearer and what's carried in. Gives you a plus two protection. Mage tent. Quality tent that when slept in helps the efficiency of one's spells. Hmm. I guess we could do a cooking pot and try and get a something going on. With our alpha meat? Did we sell that already? Because that's nearly spoiled. Let's buy this. I need some wood. I need to make a campfire, but there's no wood outside. Can we not cook food here? There's trees everywhere in town? Oh, you know what? You're right. I completely uh, ignored them. Let's see if we can cook some food real quick. What am I doing? Uh, bu 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 no, I don't want to... Stop it! Gosh! All right, so we got campfire. This. Light the campfire. Oh, did we not learn how to make the... Um... Crap. Where was the other food guy that he was talking about? Is it somebody was selling like contraband or whatever? I want some of that contraband. Really, I want to find somebody who sells scrolls. Where's like the food guy? A mercenary. Hello. That's a very nice statue. I like it. Oh, is this our mercenary? Let's go. Oh, you think the store that he's talking about is across from him is not listed on the map? This one. Ah. Cactus pie, dry mushroom bar. Oh, do I have that scroll for dry mushroom bar? We have a few scrolls on us. Okay. Well, apparently there's a way that you can do... Okay, so what do I need to make the alpha sandwich? I don't see a recipe for it. Is bread the alpha meat and is there something else or is that it? Hey, 
Hey, jewel meat. I know we needed that for something. With high health and stamina restorative properties. That's pretty good. Oh, so that's just to make bread of the wild? Okay, well, we can't quite do that. So I guess we're just going to cook the alpha meat into cooked alpha meat or something. Oh, I need to give him two gold. Oh, well, I guess we're just going to go... You're pretty sure there's an alpha sandwich, but you can't find it on the wiki. Alpha meat and bread makes a sandwich. All right, well, let's try that. Well, let me do that. Do I have to cook it first? Well, let me craft that. Oh, I have to cook down here. Oh, it's probably the same thing. So alpha me plus alpha me click down here. I'm not sure what I just did. I made two food wastes. So no, that's not how you make a sandwich. So cooking pot, bread, raw alpha meat, craft. Oh. I thought I did that and it didn't work. Well, now we know. So the alpha sandwich combined bread and alpha meat, which keeps the meat combat enhancing properties. So if I were to use this, we have no buffs. Let's use one of those. So we get health recovery and we get rage. That's pretty good. Okay. Anything else we have? We can do mineral team. So cactus pie helps against heat when eaten. Yeah, this was the bread of the wild that we knew about. How much more bread do I have remaining? Seven. I can't cook bread and... Oh, we already did the cooked alpha? Okay. I can't remember what this is used for. The raw jewel meat. I know we had some recipe for that. At least I'm fairly certain there was a recipe for it. Hmm. Maybe not. You like alpha jerky, but sandwich think is more of a region. Guess I'll take the cooking pot with me. Let's leave the campfire there. All right, well.
I need to find out where I get cactus so I can make more of that needle tea stuff. I didn't see anybody here selling cactus. Uh, you look like the kind of person who would like some coins and doesn't much care how you get them. Am I right? Sure. I have a client who wants a shark cartilage. Keep your mouth shut in front of the guards about it. They don't like it when we trade that stuff. Need something else? So we already learned all the scrolls. So this. How do we make that? Necro just reset the channel for 22 months. Necro, welcome back. Thank you so much for the 22 months. I do appreciate that. That was... Oh. Uh, must be blind. What was that thing called? I thought we learned it. Spiny. And he sells spiny, right? No, maybe we didn't. Okay. So we want that recipe. I thought I bought that recipe. Oh, I do. Right here. Okay, so it's two cactus and then some kind of an egg. Two eggs and two cactus. Got it. Alright, so anyway, let's get over... Or let's start making our way around the town a bit. Um, so there's an alchemist down here. We're currently in this general area. Mercenary trainer. Mercenary trainer, you? The Bond Guard. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Alright, so looking at the map. So we're here. That's Serene, right? No, that's Shopkeeper. Okay, so we're over in this area. So we need to go to the east more. Uh-huh. Mercenary trainer. Okay. Scatter bullet frost bullet. Decreases the stamina movement penalties from wearing armor by 50%. I kind of want that. You repair your equipment 50% faster when you locate time to repairing in the rest of the menu. Man, we want both of these. Your movement speed is increased by 10%. Sprinting consumes 40% less stamina. I want these two things. Let's go get ourselves some money. Don't forget about the trainer in the slums. Yeah, I don't care about that. And then we have to spend our resource here in order to unlock these, but these I don't really... I mean, being able to move faster and 40% less stamina is pretty good, but is it worth our skill point? I don't know. Probably not. Keep walking. I'm on duty. I have no time for you or anyone else for that matter. Shoo! Well, that's pretty rude. I came all the way over here to say hello. Hero's Palace? Well, let's not go in there just yet. Let's go... We went to the tailor. We saw him. We 
did not go to the Grand Inn. We saw a shopkeeper. Let's go to the Smith. See what the Smithy has for us. It's sad to see the old quarry full of bandits. I'm sure there are still some sand roses buried in those mines. Browse shop. Scarab mask, huh? Hound mask. Interesting. So the hound mask gives you a damage bonus of 10. Hmm. Hmm. Tyrannosaur mask gives you a stamina cost of minus 10 and poison resist. Pathfinder armor. Okay, Ash. Beast Golem Axe Halberd. Huh. That hound mask sounds pretty good. So this has a protection of two and resistance of 14. Oh, there's like some compare button, right? Tab to compare. Oh, I'm comparing against the wrong thing though. So the hound mask doesn't give me like a defense. It gives me resistances and a damage bonus, but no straight up defense. No protection, I should say. Okay. Well, we saw the Smith. They sell some stuff. Not that interesting. Innovative weapons and tools are my life, whether for plowing or killing. My gear is the best. I want to buy some. Oh, this guy sells stuff, too. Ooh. Power coils. I don't think this guy sells anything I want. The power coils, maybe. But what else do we need power coils for? Nothing that I can remember. Like, in that bandit camp in the first area, you needed two power coils to get into that one place. But then there was that way to get on top and speak to the NPC to, like, open it without the coils. But beyond that, I don't think we've needed power coils at all for anything. Huh. Okay, well, we've talked to these guys. So the player house is just right over here. Miner's omelet, tattered tire, sure. Out of the way, guy, out of the way, out of the way. Can we get back here? What's back here? What's this? A random area that you can get to for no reason. Okay. Um. So, Pidge and I... And the Alchemist... Can't talk to these guys at all.
Alright, so we're back at the start, so I kind of missed something. It's one of the alchemists. Oh, right there. Oh boy, they sell a lot of stuff here. All these different potions, very good. Um, Alchemy kit sells for 105. I don't remember it being that expensive. Antidote. Sure, let's learn how to make an antidote. Possess potion, sure. Elemental immunity potion, yes. Weather defense, yes. Chemist's broken flask. Only the chemist knew how to mix potions, sun dust, and demon blood. What is this that costs 700? Is that like some kind of a quest item? Soundman just reached up for 30 months. Soundman, welcome back. Thank you so much for the 30 months and that huge tier 3 support. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've not been getting to watch much. Work keeps getting in the way. Yeah, well, you know, real life first, man. It kind of sucks, but welcome back. Thank you for the continued support. It's used for a sword quest. Well, whenever we pick up that quest or whatever, we'll look at getting that, I guess. All right, two more gold ingots. Just dropping our gold here. Okay. So we talked to the alchemist. We need to come back over here. There's Marcus, Pigeon Eye, Dawn, and Styx, Rogue, Trainer. Wait, so we're in the area with the alchemist. Let me get back here. I think there's a wall. So I guess we have to go back over this way by the player house and then over? Maybe? So we're heading this way. I'm so confused. Okay, so we're at the blacksmith. How do we get to this area? There's a door. Oh, the one the guard's in front of? Right, I don't think I ever tried the door. Oh, enter the slums. Ah. I like how there's just dead people here wrapped in closets, closet and this guy is just kind of chilling in this cage with blood everywhere. What the heck? I honestly have no idea where I am right now. I'm completely lost. Worker's corpse. It's a grave. Yeah, 
Okay, I guess there was nothing else to see here. Okay, we're at the Rogue Trainer. At least now I have an idea where we are. So how did I pass by all of these people? Empty your mind be formless like Shadow. Shadow can take any form and overcome any army. Be smart, be Shadow, my friend. Lowers the stamina cost of dodging by 50% and allows you to dodge unimpeded even when wearing a backpack. Wow. Enemies will have a harder time spotting you. Pressure plate. Who cares about that? Requires a dagger. Requires dagger. Requires dagger. Weak attack with wide arc of effect and high impact will knock down a target afflicted by the confusion status effect. Enables you to deploy the complex pressure plate traps. Man, this unimpeded to dodge even when wearing a backpack sounds pretty awesome. Pigeon Eye is top of the buildings where I was. Well, let me, let's see. So where it sticks, Dawn is right here to the east, northeast. Oh, here's Pigeon Eye. You look like you've been around. Spare a few silver, mate. The people here all need all the help they can get. Um, give you 40 silver. Your kindness will not be forgotten. I'll see this goes where it's needed. If you got some more silver to spare, I could really use the help. No, I'm good. So I guess giving 40 silver was kind of a waste. I'd like to talk. I see it's all left from here. The good, the bad, the Levant dream is barely holding together. All right, I got nothing for you. Fair enough. Okay, so we're at Pigeon Eye. Dawn is over here somewhere. If you give them 120 silver, you get access to a shop. Oh. Well, that's useful. If you sell stuff that's useful, that is. Three. This is the last delivery for a while, Pigeon Eye. The Baron is muscling us out of the smuggler's tunnel. He's moved loads of weapons and personnel in and out frequently. I don't know who he's working for, but he's got Levant City guards on his side now. I overheard one of the guards say something about reporting to his boss in the Hive prison that the Corsairs sometimes use for interrogations. I'm not sure he knows who uses that place or not. Uh, either way, it's signs of serious trouble coming. Uh huh. So I assume we can't go in any of these doors around here. And I'm having the hardest time trying to find any of these NPCs. Hey, a chest. Huh. 
Ah, so we still have not found Marcus or Dawn. And we found Styx the Rogue Trader, but how did we not find these people? I don't know. Hey, we found Marcus. So I've got nothing for you right now. If you're in the mood for a little blood sport, come around in a bit. I might have room for you. Okay. Well, there's a chest we just saw. Okay, we found the way back to Pigeon Eye. So for Marcus, getting up to Pigeon Eye is no problem. Now to find Dawn. And Dawn is to the southeast. So somewhere over there. We've already passed Dawn. Is it down here somewhere? One of the NPCs is a special shop. Yeah. Am I blind or is this NPC not here? So in order to find Dawn, I have to give Pigeon Eye more silver. You have to give money up to be able to talk to Dawn. Got it. Okay. So let's get out of here. If I can ever find my way out. I'm just fascinated by like the audio, like cutting in and out. We've already been back in there. Ah, here we go. So we need to go get ourselves some coin. All right, we gotta find some water too. There's some. Now the real question is, am I gonna be able to find Pigeon Eye again?
What is this? Hmm. What's that? What did I just... There was like a thing that just showed up on the screen. What was that? Oh, Barrel Man. Hi, you. What? You've never seen a man in a barrel before? How positively sad. This is the only way to live. Why are you in a barrel? Because my name is Barrel Man. Where else would I be? Why are you wearing a fish on your head? Because we're both lonely, of course. You should be more considerate of this poor, of her poor fishy's feelings. Do you need anything? As a matter of fact, yes. I'm a master smith who has perfected the ultimate weapon and it's designed to share with those you love. I could really use a mana stone to make it happen. Here's what you asked for. Stupendous! Just what I needed. How did you know? Yes, verily. Now I need some toast. Wait, what? What does toast have to do with everything? You'll see. Okay, so I need to get toast. See you later. Barrel man, huh? I didn't even see this person here. And they are, in fact, wearing a fish on their head. Okay, well, we have a campfire over here, and I think we have bread in our inventory, right? Let's go make some toast. Toast recipe has been learned. I just assumed that was a recipe for toast. My barrel man. Oh, that's weird. As you walk away, they sink down in. No wonder you didn't see it. <laughs> That's so weird. Here's what you asked for. Uh, Gabbery Jam. I think they sold some Gabberry jam over at the market over here. I'll go buy some. This better not be like a huge troll. It's probably a huge troll, isn't it? For making an NPC super hard to find and as unique as it, I feel like it won't be a troll, but it could be a troll. So I need, how did you know? Got me jam all over this toast. Oh, right, yes, weapon, I think. I'll be a little palladium. Oh, good, finally something that makes sense. Why do you need that other stuff? Because, try to keep up. So now we need palladium. 
You didn't know he was there? I didn't know he was there either. I just saw uh, F and some text show up on the screen and I walked around. I was like, where did that? What was that even about? So I think the uh, smith over here sold palladium. No? Crap. You knew him, but you didn't know how to craft toast? Uh, it takes a whole lot of very, very confusing ingredients to make toast. You might need to write the recipe down. So, they don't sell palladium. I don't think I have any on me. I know I dropped some back off in Berg. Traveling in caravan have palladium? Probably not. Oop. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to go all the way back to Berg in order to get palladium. Break down palladium spikes. Do I have some? I don't. Did somebody sell palladium spikes? Oh. Look at that. All right. Awesome. Thank you for the tip. I've never tried... I've just sold the spikes. I never tried uh, breaking them down before. Here's what you asked for. Stupendous. Just what I needed. How did you know? We desperately need some alpha jerky for strength and power. Why are we talking about food again? Because, try to keep up. Alpha jerky. That I can almost guarantee we don't have here. I don't see alpha jerky. We could have made some alpha jerky, but I wanted to prevent our food from spoiling, so I crafted it into an alpha sandwich. Yeah, just regular jerky. So we could go back to the forest, I suppose, and kill a whole bunch of alphas. But we need um, travel rations to get back and forth. How many travel rations do we have? It costs four to go both ways. We have three, so we would need, like, all of these. I know we can just craft them. Wait, is it cheap? No, it's not cheaper to buy that. We have bread on us, too, yeah? And this is about to spoil. You know, whatever. I'm just going to buy them. It's fine. All right, let's go get ourselves some alpha jerky then. 
The pearl birds in the desert drop it? Oh boy. Well, hopefully I didn't just waste all my money for nothing. Oh, you know what? Let's sleep. That seems like a perfect place to set up a tent. Right with like this bar or whatever running right down the middle. Awesome. That's going to be great on the back. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure only the enemies that are named Alpha drop Alpha meat. Grab water. I thought there was a fountain right here. Right there. Alright, back to the forest then. I don't know how to craft alpha jerky. I assume it's alpha meat, alpha meat, and salt. I think we have salt on us. So we'll try it. So we need to get all the way back over here so we travel west southwest like this kind of a a bearing a this ish bearing this ish Is it two salt and two alpha? Okay. Dude, that was pretty rude, actually. You just spoiled yourself to find out what Barrel Man gives you? Well, don't spoil the rest of us, please. Alright, just play it. We'll see you later. Have a great sleep. I should probably take a quick break to go fill up my water. I'll be right back. Uh, this button.
All right, I'm back. So we need to go find ourselves some alphas. We win, we murdered a whole bunch of them. And a good portion of the meat that we got from them just kind of went to waste. Hopefully this time it won't and we'll be able to find alphas and be able to murder their faces and do some stuff. Oh, let's deploy our tent. Sleep for one hour, get our sleepy bonus. Boop. Um, oh, I didn't guard. We might get attacked. Is that what, like, Trey did get me? Now to find some alphas. But we done murdered them all. Are there going to be any around? Ah, itchy nose. Oh, that's one right there. I don't think we went this way, so it's very possible there will be some over here. Oh, that's right. We didn't uh, take our stamina food. I was looking at my stamina. I was like, why is that so low? Yeah, we didn't take our stamina food. Butterfly area down there. You know, I thought we didn't come this way, but apparently we did. Where are we? Oh, that's going up here. I guess we should. Ah, oh, man. We might have to go into Berg. I think we have to go to Berg. Yeah, I think we've murdered everything on this side. <clears throat> well, that's fine, because we wanted to drop on... Oh, what is it here? We're gonna take all that. We wanted to drop off um, that golem piece thing that we have on us, and we can collect that later when we want to actually complete that quest. Do, 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 do. 
All right, find a vendor real quick. I want to sell off this alchemy kit and some other stuff that we don't necessarily need on us. Wow. Oh, I thought we had four of those. I was like, wow, we have four of those? No way. Just one. Just one. Bright nobleman's boots, worker boots, tattered attire. Don't need these mushroom bars on us. Don't need those. Click the thing. That. This. That. I think that. Oh no, we don't need this or this or that or that or that. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're good. Let's get ourselves one gold bar. I think that's good. Confirm. Yeah, let's go drop that off at our house and then we can um, head out of here and through a different exit and see if we can get some more alphas. I better complete that quest. Well, I'm going for it. Don't need those arrows. <clears throat> Don't need the torch. Don't need another lantern. That's what I want to drop off. I guess we can drop off that coal stone as well. I don't think we need the crystal powder. That bread's going to decompose unless we get rid of it. Okay. Cool. Let us drink some water. And go hunt ourselves some alphas. Now we saw alphas over here, but I don't know if they are still dead or if they have respawned. I don't see the body over here anymore. Take a bandage real quick. I've never been out onto this island. Let's go check it out. Take a look. Seems like a pretty good place for the alpha deer things to be hanging out. I'm just saying. Ice cold Coke. It gives a nice burn when it goes down. Coca-Cola definitely is more acidic or one of the most acidic, uh, Soft drinks. Really? Really? You want to fight like that? He wants to fight like that. Will you take off your backpack? Goodness! Boop, boop, boop. Boop. And one more. I remember when we first started playing this, I was unable to kill any of those and they kept killing me over and over and over. And it was very, very frustrating. What is this? A tree husk. Yellow. What happened to the blue sand set? It's in my inventory. It has a minus movement speed on it, and the armor that we're currently wearing has positive movement speed on it. So unless we're, like, fighting something... What is that up there? Oh. 
So unless we're fighting something that I... Oh, one way. That I know that uh, we need to gear up for. Generally, it's just better. Drop the bag. All right, guy. I've had about enough of you. The uh, stamina bonus that you get from this and the movement speed is just well worth it, in my opinion. Okay. Oh, there's improvised bed rolls here. I don't think I want to use those. It does not open from here. Of course it doesn't. Why would it open from here? You lost a bunch of weight just switching from regular soda to diet? Yeah. Oh, this is a safe zone now, so we can just sleep. I switched to diet soda a long time ago because the uh, sugared soda was like really eating away at my teeth. I've seen the dentist more times than I care to admit. So I stopped with the, uh, the sugared soda. I don't know so much about the um, weight loss from that, but just the fact that my teeth are in a healthier state, I think is reason enough. Yeah, now we've seen everything here. Actually, There was that thing that said the door didn't open from here, so what is that all about? Is there like a hidden lever or something? The junk pile that I missed. I was hoping I might be able to cheese it by looking through the other side, trying to open it from the other side. There must be like another dungeon or something that connects to this one. I didn't see any lever or anything to like interact with. He lost 25 pounds within like two months just from switching from regular to diet. Yeah, that makes sense. Like if you're consuming that many extra calories, well, I guess it really depends on how many sodas you drink per day. But like it really, it really depends on the soda that you're drinking too. But like a uh, can I think of Mountain Dew has something like two to three hundred calories in it. Oh, you were drinking Mountain Dew. Yeah, like that many extra calories per day will really allow you to like hold on to a lot of weight. What was that? Oh, yeah, the tree. I don't think you are not just drinking casually a can per day. No. If you're losing 25 pounds by stopping drinking regular soda, probably somewhere of like three to five a day, I would say. I, I'm not a dietitian though. That's just my own guess. But like, I would drink Mountain Dew all the time as well. I'd go 
uh, when I was eating a lot of fast food, I'd go to Taco Bell and get like the biggest Mountain Dew you could possibly get, put one of those back, and then maybe later on in the day I want a Taco Bell for dinner, and then I go back and do the same thing, get another one of those. Man, there's just so much soda that I was drinking all the time. You drink soda maybe one every two weeks? I drink uh, Diet Coke. There was a point in my life where I had stopped drinking soda completely and I was only drinking water and iced tea. Um, but yeah, I've gone back to drinking Diet Coke, which I think is just fine. These are not what we're looking for. I don't even know what these are. Oh, those are those golem things. I don't even know where we are right now. I'm just trying to find alpha deer. What is this? Old hunter's cabin? You need the carbonation. You love the bubble paint. I don't think I've ever heard anybody else describe carbonation as pain. Yeah, there's some regular jerky. Bunch of food, that's nice. Take it all, yes, might as well. Alpha deer still wreck you? Yeah, they were wrecking us too. Um, pretty much we're just trying to overwhelm enemies as fast as possible, stagger them, knock them down, and then hit them while they're down. The great axe is great at that. It's got like huge impact or whatever that stat's called. You heard on a podcast, some craft beer brewer was talking about it to describe the tingle of carbonation as pain. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there's a little bit of what could be considered like a sting or like a heat or... Yeah, I honestly don't know how to describe it myself. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Man, where are all the alpha deer? We should just sleep till day. I hate running around at nighttime. It's like hard to see and I don't like it. Joker, thank you for the 100 bits. Want my number one spot back? Thank you. There's our burning tree. Do a little bit of guarding as well, or uh, repairing. That's why I just call it bubble pain now. These are all going to go bad at like the same time, which is kind of unfortunate. I thought it was going to be easier than what it is to find these stupid alpha deer things. Dude, did you see that? That was pretty. Baller, how did I do that? <laughs> it's like by running into this corner.
Oh, I was doing it. Okay, I'm done. I probably killed them all. I mean, if they were dead, there should be like the bodies of them around, right? Sucks to be that guy. Sucks to be all these guys. I don't think there's anything else over here as far as what we're looking for. Let's continue on. <sighs> we made it back around to like where we just were a minute ago. These are disgusting. They're like beehives or something. Walking hive. What is that shiny thing over there that I see? I gotta go find this out. Is that palladium? It is. You know, deer spawn by the boathouse and the lake in general. Where are we at? We're at the hive. Huge brain tree, we're here. So I guess if we head northwest a bit. Oh, you know, we should use one of these sandwiches before they go bad, too. Wait, now who's attacking? I hear fight music, I don't see anything. What is attacking me? Weird. Teach me your axe lord ways? Well, pretty much get yourself a two-handed axe. Uh, left click, then middle click. And win. That's pretty much how it goes. Snowy Death Penguin just resubbed for 23 months. Pengu, welcome back. Thank you so much for the 23 months. 
Hope everything's going all right with you. So we were just in kind of like forever fight music. The game must have glitched. All right, well, we have apparently completely destroyed the deer population in this area because there are none around here. I guess we didn't go all the way around the lake. Uh, we cut through across to the island. So let's go back over this way behind the boathouse area. And we'll continue around the lake that side. You're trying to get into PC gaming? Awesome. What games are you looking at playing? Yeah, we saw that bridge we cut across and then we went down or south or whatever. Let's continue on this way and see what we can find. Yeah, all the deer are extinct. Sorry. Sorry. They're all gone. No more deer. Oh, dear. I'm going to try heading up this way. The constant fight music certainly is awesome. I may be fighting this. What is that thing? Is that, is that a giant? What they, what's that giant? Whew. An ash giant. Giant heart garnet. Oh. Wow. That actually was pretty worth it. A lot of good stuff. Yeah, fighting that thing fixed the, the music. Okay, so I see a Skeletron. Still no deer, though. Thank you, thank you for the 100 bits. I do appreciate it. What was that cloud? What cloud? The one that the giant was doing? I don't know. The skill is still in cooldown. I kind of want to fight these skeletons, but I guess there's not a lot of reason to. And now we get to enjoy no music. There's just no deer. How am I supposed to get alpha meat? I 
If I just go into my player house and I sleep for like a week, are they going to show up again? Like, how does that work? I don't know. I guess we're going to do that. I mean, I don't know what else to do. We've pretty much ran this entire map and I haven't seen a single alpha. And this is lame. I wanted to come here, grab the alpha meat, make the jerky, go back and give it to that guy. And now we're like spending all this time trying to find stupid alpha meat. And there's just none to be had. Hmm. Very lame. Yeah, the music just seems like it's completely broken. Normally, there's all sorts of background music happening. Whoops. Normally, there's all sorts of background music happening. We just got stuck with, like, fight music for a while, and then we went back to normal, and then after the one loop of the song played, it's just no music at all. Ugh. I think it's time that the game needs to be restarted or something. Or maybe just zoning into another area will fix it. I don't know. Is there something in here we didn't look? No. Yeah, I think we're just going to go back to our player house and try and sleep for like a week straight and see if we can get deer to spawn out here. I really don't know what else to do. Hey, hey, now we're getting... Music. All right, let's see all this crap that it's clogging up my inventory. rid of both of those um oh yeah that cooked me i was like where did we get that cooked alpha meat you can't turn that into a sandwich right it has to be raw alpha meat oh we only have one Oh, that only sells for 15. I thought it was going to sell for a lot more than that. Uh, okay, that seems good. Let's get two gold. So up to 27. I didn't put alpha meat in my chest here, did I? I did. Okay. Well, in that case, do we have any salt? Let's go cook that real quick. Whoa, camera, please. So, raw alpha, raw alpha, 
salt, salt. Five alpha jerky added. Salted alpha meat that rots very slowly while retaining the special meat qualities. Okay. I think we're good so we can sleep one hour then we can head back to the desert yeah sleeping in that bed got rid of our stamina bonus which is absolutely stupid. So now we need to come out here and sleep in our own freaking tent. I guess we'll go over this side. All right, let's put our tent down and sleep here. Get our stamina bonus. Which I guess isn't really going to matter since we're going to zone. But for the short term, it'll help us out a little bit running to where we're going. So back out to the forest, we need to figure out which way it is to the uh, desert zone line. I don't remember if it's north or south. We'll have to look at the map here. Uh, we came out here. So we have to follow the road south and then take the path to the east. I see a dead alpha over there, but still no live ones. It's too bad. Yeah, I really do wonder what the respawn is on these things. Like if you have to sleep for like a week or whatever. I thought it was kind of like you change areas and then they respawn, but that obviously is not true. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be some kind of a cooldown. You're saying if you go to Giant Town Swamp, you think you can raise it to 60? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you talking about that jewel that I just sold for 30 or 15? Or whatever it was that I sold for, I don't remember. All right, so we're going to sleep for one hour. Ah, my nose. Itchy, itchy, itchy.
The Astro and Tart or whatever the gym is called? I see. I'd rather just clean up my inventory way and get a little bit less for it. It's really not worth it to me to like make a trip way out there just to try and get a little bit more money out of it. These things are almost gone. That's going to make me sad, Pando. We have to go back to the marsh and get more. I like the fact that I can run through the desert at nighttime and heat is not an issue. I think that's a nice touch. That right there looks like a whole pile of nope. So we're just going to nope away from it. Nope. 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 Whole big pile of nope over there. A lot of random stuff. We'll take it all, I guess. Hmm. I still don't know which cactuses you can gather and which ones you cannot. Is that one that you can gather right there? I kind of want to make that food where you have to use the cactus. That's supposed to restore health and stamina, because that sounds pretty baller. What is that? What is that? Oh, that wasn't a cactus up here. I thought it was. All right, let's get back into the city. Is that a cactus we can gather? Nope. Well, we made it to Levant. So now we need to go talk to the guy in a barrel. Hopefully he's not going to request too many more things or too many things after this. I am very curious what all of this is for. Barrel man, do you need anything? Here's what you asked for. Stupendous! Just what I needed. How did you know? 
And last but not least, we need grilled mushrooms all over your special request to really improve it. Grilled mushrooms? No, we don't. How do grid grilled mushrooms improve everything? You'll see. Grilled mushrooms? Oh my gosh, I better be able to get that stuff here. I better be able to get that stuff here. Mushrooms. This person does not sell mushrooms. I'm going to buy six of those and six of these, though. That was exactly all the money that I had. Weird. Does this person down here sell mushrooms? Mushrooms, mushrooms, I'm everywhere! No mushrooms. So I guess the next question is, how do I make grilled mushrooms? Because I don't have a recipe for grilled mushrooms. I assume it's mushrooms put over an open fire. Um, yeah, I don't have any mushrooms on me. I'm pretty sure I don't have a recipe for it. I don't. Oh, I can make needle too, though. Well, I well, don't have any mushrooms around here, so that means we gotta run all the way back. Dang it! We'll do that next time. All right, guys, we're going to go and wrap the stream up here for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I play some Outward. If you're new to the stream, hit the follow button so you get notified when I do go live. Our normal streaming schedule is Monday through Friday, starting at noon Eastern. So we'll be back tomorrow with more Outward. If you want to check that out, you know where to be. Hey, Solas, how you doing? Um, but, yeah, that's it for me for today. Uh, since Solas came into the the channel here, we're just going to end the stream right away. That's pretty much how that works. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being awesome. Appreciate the support. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.